good morning and it's complete. And as hard as we tried to get a walking tour here, it didn't work out. Either they're closed or it's a scam website or um, the, some of the websites that we checked out were said, yeah, meet us and go to look at the directions and we'll meet. It's in Bogota, North Cali. Anyway, it didn't work out. So we are going to try our own walking tour this morning and see how that works. And right now we're on our way to one of the famous churches. It's a Gothic style church and it's about a 15 minute walk. So let's go take a look. Okay. Watch your step. Yep. A lot of traps here. Yep, many traps. You always got to watch where you're walking. Really pay attention. Like yep, nice little place to sit. That's for sale if you want to buy this place, turn it into a restaurant, bed and, bed and breakfast. Pretty big too. It's nice. I know. <laughs> Parking. Pretty big. Just to let you know, we'll be double dipping today. As we see wall art, we're gonna be taking pictures of that so that we can do a separate wall art montage video. Like we did in, uh, like we did in uh, Cartagena. Correct. And that came out really nice. And as you're aware of, that one was basically shot and produced by Jeannie. I just put it together in, in uh, Final Cut and brought it to YouTube. So that's really all Jeannie's doing. And I'm very, very proud of her. She's smiling under there. I'll take a picture of the monkey. Yep. Betty might not know that's what she did. Haga Okay, you get a little idea of how Jeannie does her wall art videos. As we cruise around new places, we find these beautiful art murals, which they call graffiti. We definitely call wall art. And you take pictures of it and you put it into a video as a montage. Very nice. Okay, as we cross this little pedestrian bridge, you know, traffic's pretty heavy here and it's not always that easy to get across. Just as a little side note, up there at the top of the hill, is supposed, you're supposed to be able to hike up there. It's supposed to be an incredible view of all of Kali. I don't know if that's something Jeannie wants to do or not, but we'll see. Ah, up there, I see the cross. That's supposed to be like Rio de Janeiro. That's the one they're talking about. From up there at the very top, it's supposed to be an incredible view. There she is. Ah. 
as you can see, people get on and off the bus. They go right over here. They get themselves some local food. I'm sure it's really good. We'll go take a quick look at what they have. And then we'll... I think even Jeannie's interested. Here, let me give her the camera. Colombian churros. Yum. Yum. Street food at its finest. Yum. Okay, this way. Looks like we have gotten to the first of a few of the historic churches here. And a park. So let's uh, move around and see what we got here. What the hell is this thing? Look at this thing. If I had to guess, this is sugar cane, right? I'm, I'm so smart. She presses the sugar cane, she gets the juice, and you buy. Okay. You want to feed pigeons? They got pigeons here. What's the deal with the uh, birds again? To eat the birds, Toppin's a bag. It's all about Mary Poppins. <laughs> it looks like it, right? Mm-hmm. Just watch where you're walking. Okay. This is quite pretty. We got a good picture over here. Yep. Let's see what we got here. Okay, back to the church. Again, being... Trying to be smart, I bet you that's a blood bank. If it was open, we'd take you in. If we do find a door open on one of the sides, we'll go in. Here comes Mary Poppins. <laughs> she said she forgot her umbrella. Not sure if the microphone picks it up, so I usually repeat everything. Some of the many different street foods you can find here. Yum. This is how she does it. Something to drink. He's doing the same thing. He's eating the profits. <laughs> he understood English. He's laughing. Oh, 
Okay, here's some uh, local artwork or handicraft, let's call it. Very nice. Here they are making it. There's Jeannie on the other side. She's working the other side of the street. Paso, watcho, paso, watcho. Awful lot to see here in Cali. If you bought too much crap while you're uh, visiting here, you can always buy more luggage. Not us, though. Yeah. I think we're going this way. No lack of stuff to buy, that's for sure. Yeah. Look at this architecture coming up. Jeannie sees something. Stretch pants? Yeah, but I want to see if they have the ones with the pockets. Oh. Do you have Okay, let's get back at it. That's a BBVA bank. We all know that. I don't know if that's a church. This? Yeah. No, it's not. That's not the church. We have to go to four, which is one more down. As soon as we can get across, I gotta we gotta take a better look at this musical contraption. One of the many beautiful parks here in Cali. I 
ice cold drink. This stuff is good. I've had it. Especially the lemonade stuff. That's really good. Very refreshing. Okay, we have arrived at this Gothic church. Pay no attention to the clock, it's not right. Hopefully it's open and we can get you in. All right, let's get to let's get a little wider shot. Yeah, we can go in. Perfect. How's that? Okay, let's try a different angle for this Gothic church. Here it is. And now I'll walk it in. And we'll go inside where Jeannie is. It's really beautiful. Personally, if I had to pick between Romanesque and Gothic, I'm kind of like a Gothic guy when it comes to architecture. Okay, let's go in. Buenos dias. That was a beautiful church. We're gonna walk a little bit past. This is the back side of the church, this beautiful park with all these flowers on trellises. We're gonna actually cross this bridge and walk the river. Maybe we can give Jeannie the camera and let her do a little talking. She's taking pictures. She's the official picture taker today. And off we go. Let's cross over. Okay.
This is what they call the Cali River. Well, that's pretty. It certainly is. We'll get a quick look over here. <laughs> They're bathing down there. Okay, let's take a quick look this way. Looks really pretty. I mean, yeah, the water is uh, a little murky, but it does look clean. I love the um, the artwork they put into the detail they put into the bridge or the whatever you call that. Yep. I forget the name of the animal, but it's a cousin to the raccoon, except it has a long tail. I think the, the river walk is along that For, side. I agree with you. With lots of little parks like that, you know, that, that come off of it. But we shall go this way, my little explorer. Okay. Look at the flowers that are growing off the vines on this tree it's amazing and these balls i remember it's something similar to this tree in hawaii and you have to be careful because these big balls that grow on this tree can drop and hit you on the head do you think that's some type of fruit i don't think so i don't think it's edible i bet you some of these people who are uh, smarter than us can tell us what this is but you see the big balls yeah, those things can drop down and hit you on the head. I have pictures of the same exact thing in the white. Very nice. Okay, onward. Tell us about that tree. Well, other than it's beautiful, I don't know anything about it. Well, you've seen these before in a couple other places, right? Uh, similar, but not the same. Can you take my picture here? Absolutely. Not with that. Okay. So there is significant homeless here. And as you can see them down here, they take advantage of the river and they wash their clothes. They sleep here. So far, basically harmless. Now, one other thing. We were walking, as we were walking, Jeannie noticed that they have these bird feeders right here with bird food. And we saw two beautiful little yellow birds. We're hoping to see some more of them and get you some footage on that as we get closer to some of these other feeders. We'll approach really slow if we see it. They were baby finches. What were they? Yellow baby finches. Were they too cute? They were. They were a pair. Well, this looks like one of the last bird feeders, and I don't see any birds in it. Oh, well, we missed it. On right. It's like usual. We missed the opportunity. We try to bring it to you guys, but it doesn't always happen. Right. Sometimes you just get what you get. Life's a box of chocolates. 
Look at these beautiful flowers. Okay, just to give you a little perspective, that's the supermarket where we did our grocery shopping. And right across the street is the cat park, the famous Cali Cat Park. And we're gonna take you through that. Maybe we can even let Jeannie take us through this. We'll ask her. Would you like to take um, the viewers through the cat park? Nothing about doesn't matter they just want to hear your voice I'm taking okay she's taking pictures okay this is called El Gato del Rio so the cat on the Rio Cali Park or river well there's the river right there yes cat on the river you're right so this is like one of the real big main attractions here in Cali. And I'm so glad we're bringing you through this. I believe there's 12 of them here, but we'll go by each one. Okay, so as you move closer, I don't know if this is going to do justice, but you can see inside they got some artwork as well. Never miss an opportunity to tag. Beautiful cat. This way, look, right. look at the reflection on the on in the rocks uh -huh. that the trees does. It it's the same as the uh, cat is. Right. You see that? I do. And that's I think that's why they painted it. Very cool. Lover, right? Well, the sun has to hit it just right to make that happen. And it does. Yeah.
just really, really nice. This one's a pirate. Very cool. Oh, we got a little hang around her, huh? What's that? One for Tim, feels the cat. Oh yeah. Tim would love this car. I treat it too. Look at this one. This one is from the horror movie, Pinhead. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Oh yeah. Ooh la la. And then to finish this park off, they have this sculpture here which will take you on a quick look at look at this tree also just beautiful i'm not positive but it almost appears that if children wanted to they could climb on that really nice and shady and cool in here with a nice breeze. And there you have it. Elgato Rio Cali. Let's find out if she liked it or not. Did you like that? Yes. Huh? It was very cool. Wasn't it? 
Okay, we're gonna cross back over to our side of the river now. And I think about now, it's almost 12 o'clock. I think we're gonna look for a place to sit down, have a cool drink, maybe split a sandwich, something like that. We'll see what Jeannie wants to do. Sit down, cool drink, split a sandwich, something like that. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Did I ever tell you you're a great adventurer? You're just trying to be nice. What are you buttering up for now? I just want you to see. I, everyone just wants to see that smile. That's all. <laughs> Well, it was hard to smile when they, when you're in pain. That's true. And for one month, we took care Six of all weeks. that. Six weeks, we took care of all that the best we could, and we worked through it. It was that deep tissue massage that, that fixed it. Good. Ma get more Maybe we need to go back to Calamia so that you can get another one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the lock off the other wallet? <laughs> I can find massage places in here, I'm sure. Okay. We'll give you a little bit more footage of Carrera One. This is Carrera One along the river on our side of the river this time. See, there's the cats over there. We walked. Yeah. But it's very pretty. Look, look at this sculpturing up there. That's this is where they put the tables. They were having dinner the other night. Uh-huh. So as you can see across the river is where all the cats are. And that's where we just walked. Now we're walking on the other side. And look at the nice plants they planted. Very, very beautiful. Show our viewers. Tropical plants here that they have, which, uh, you know, as many, as you guys know, these are the type of plants that you would grow in pots in the United States because it's too tropical. I. I even Florida would be pushing it. But they're just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this vine with the flowers that are about to pop. Almost looks like some type of bird of paradise. Oh, it's a, a sound of birds of paradise now. I forgot what they're called. Really beautiful. Look and who's, who's this guy? You I'm never just along for the ride. You I, never I, see him. He just picked me up hitchhiking. You never get to see him. You just hear his voice. I'm in tropical paradise. You are. You're you're in your element. If there's one thing Jeannie loves, it's plants and birds. That's correct. I love birds and plants. I created that paradise in Connecticut. See, like this? These are called prayer plants. And we used to grow those uh, indoor, those are indoor plants back in the United States. And you know why they call them prayer plants? No, why do they call them prayer plants, Jeannie? Because at nighttime, these leaves these leaves close up like this ah. and, they, they, and they look like they're praying here and here look at all the bamboo i always wanted bamboo but it is uh evas evasive so we never did plant it but bamboo is one of my favorites if you ever want to block out your neighbor plant bamboo <laughs> They will love you for it. No, no, they won't. They'll hate you for it, but <laughs> she's being she's being sarcastic. And again, going full circle, this is the supermarket we went shopping with it we went shopping at yesterday. And this is our neighborhood. And the, and uh, that's the guy that brought our groceries. Right, there he is right there, in the front door. Remember his name? Uh, no I don't.
So actually, if you don't really like the place that we're staying and you want to bump it up a notch, there's the Intercontinental and you can knock your socks right off there. But, uh, kind of hard to beat for $60 a night. Mask up. You'll know for more. Oh, no, gracias. And we're going to go right over here. And you've all seen the hotel Dan Carlton because we've passed out already a couple of times. It's actually on both sides of the street, there and here, at their walkway. All right. And again, as you are already aware of and familiar with, we're at the top of the street. You take a left and we're about two houses in. And with that, we're going to cut this walking tour right about now. Right, Jeannie? That wraps it up. Okay. Okay. Four miles. Uh, in about uh, two hours, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Was it well worth doing it on our own? Yes. More enjoyable and exciting because you find things you would just normally wouldn't see, right? Right. We just wander around. Right. <laughs> Yeah, my son, what a free and quiet